It's been four years since MK11 and six with Injustice 2. And with MK12 just showing up with a CG trailer, I think this is the perfect time for the top 10 things I want in MK12. I know it's called MK1, but I want to call it MK12 because it's still a sequel to MK11. There's a reason why MW2 is called MW22 and not MW2 as MW2 already exists. As then, if you want to get into it, why is MK9 called MK? So then we're going to call this game MK1. So if we go from MK9 to MK1, we go, oh yeah, I really like MK to MK1. Like what? Bro, what are you talking about? Anyway, I'm, I'm going to get, I'm going to get swarmed. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Number 10. I need the run button back. Yes, that's right. After MKX had this feature, I loved it. I missed it, MK11, because it presented a 50 50 mix up. It allowed for optional mix ups, but also it reduced zoning, a gameplay mechanic that has plagued Netherrealm since the inception. No matter the game, there's always been the character of multiple that have ruined the fun. So let me get in there and then bah, bah, take them out. I don't want to see an Aaron Black. I don't want to see what's his name from Injustice 2. What trash characters. Let's not do that again. Number 9. Wait, <laughs> number 9. More offline goofy modes. Ever since Netherrealm has taken over the mode command license, the franchise has been resilient to the idea that it can be goofy. And I miss the days of when Mortal Kombat was allowed to have fun with these modes. I miss puzzle combat, chess combat, motor combat. All of those modes were side contents where I would genuinely play more than the main game itself because I loved them so much. When friends and family would come over, I loved just playing a few regular matches and then hopping into one of those wacky modes. And I need them back please, but also make them online and hey, guess what? We can make them even more outlandish this time around with how crazy we can get. Like, imagine if there was a mode like Shaolin Monks. That's just right itself, come on! Number 8. Bring back X-rays. Look, MK11 had his fun with fatal blows, but they lack something and that's originality. Let's be honest. Fatal blows are just fatalities with none of the ripping out of the limb spot. Show me a fatal blow, tell me that's a fatality, and I'll believe you. But really, all they do is make the characters feel inconsistent. Why does Frost's fatal blow look better than her one fatality? Also, the length at which the fatal blows are at is insane. Look, all I'm saying is that fatal blows blow. <laughs> but other than that, technically speaking, I like x-rays more than failed blows. I find them to be more enjoyable, well at least in a technical sense. With x-rays you can use them whenever you want as long as the meter was full and with my friends that would be used a lot, which wasn't great. But this also meant that if they miss they will lose out on all the meter making them question whether or not they should use the x-ray over one of their special moves. So there was always a constant 50-50. And if you're smart with it, you could always do a combo into a special into an x-ray which resulted in more damage than the x-ray and it will be the hyper shit ever. And when those moments would happen in X, like in like somewhere like EVO, let's go, those parts will be so sick. The biggest issue with MK11 is that you're always guaranteed a failed blow towards the end of once every match as long as the player was at low health. And unlike a game like Tekken where you had Raid Jar or Raid Drives, there was never a 50-50 equivalent in MK11 because there was nothing to hold you back from doing it. There was no disadvantage from not doing it. So actually, in my experience, I saw these are far a lot more than X-Ray. Okay, so that's my problem. I really hope MK12 looks into the into the X-Ray fair blows issue and really like fixes it. But other than that, that's it. All right, number seven, cosmetic damage. I love the cosmetic damage in MK9, and while it never really left, I always missed how bombastic the characters would look after a fight as it reflected what they should look like. I understand that in MK9, it was a bit too much with how you could punch someone in the leg multiple times and an eye would pop out. But I think if it was redone and brought back, it could really be redefined. I want to see slashes, bullet holes, big gushes, cuts, bruises after I win. I want to see how my character looks after a fight and, and not to look like a Barbie doll, 
I know that MK11 they had it but then had to remove it because of the cosmetic stuff and it's not truly gone but at the same time it's just not done the same way as MK9. MK9 was phenomenal with his cosmetic damage. It was a bit too much, I do understand and I do agree but I really liked it and I hope that they redefined it. I hope that they really like look at how like if you punch someone multiple times in the arm maybe like you can see a bone. You can see like a, you can see something, the muscle. I, I want to see that because it doesn't make any sense if you do an X-ray and then you cut them and you slash them and then all of a sudden, yeah, there's there's nothing. I want to see that. Number six, good music, please. Ever since Injustice One, Netherrealm has had the worst music I've heard in a fighting game. Their soundtracks are the most forgettable, bland, garbage I've actually ever heard. I can't even say garbage because at least then it will mean something memorable. Instead, nothing from Netherrealm has gotten any kind of reaction from me. In this music department at least. The only soundtrack from them that was good was MK9. And most of it was like, what, remakes from the other MK games? But other than MK9, Netherrealm has done nothing to ramp up its music. Like it's weird going from a game like Guild Gear. to Tekken then more comeback every other game has had badass soundtracks but then there's more comeback which is like hey guys I'm here too! Like, try for yourself. Hum me three songs from the MKX or 11. Did you try? Did you? I couldn't because it's garbage! The worst part about MK11 was that Mick, fucking Gordon, was willing to do it. But some guy at Netherrealm got jealous and told him no. I'm just like, what? You don't just go around and say no to the guy who made some of the sickest, some of the hardest, some of the catchiest music. For, for like, from gaming, someone who did KI to Doom to now is doing like, I don't know, he did Atomic Heart and is doing other stuff, but you had a literal golden egg on a silver platter and you said no. I hope that MK12 really looks into what failed and goes, yeah, we can bring in better music. Because I want to be hyped. I can't ever be hyped in any MK game if there's no music. I'd want new music that's looking from MK to even get hyped. Just bring in techno, bro. That's what you're all about. The one song that everybody knows from all combat is the dun 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 And that's not even your song. That's the movie song. And you want to talk about Reptile song in MK3? Yo, ultimate. More Combat 3 Reptile theme is a banger. We need to go back to those tunes. <laughs> we need techno again. I really want whoever said no to Mick Gordon to go back and apologize to him and tell him, hey, hey man, we need you back for MKL12. Uh, we need you back. Because you really had something and you, you've missed out. Anyway, not, not going to get into a tangent. Number 5, Simple Crypt. I love the crypt and always have since its first introduction with Deadly Alliance and always try to complete them to their fullest with every game moving forward. But ever since Mortal Kombat X, the crypt was the most different it's ever been. But it was still an enjoyable experience, it was a bit grindy but overall it was fine. But for MK11, that's where everything went downhill. The crypt was straight up garbage all because of WB's greed. In MK11, the crypt was the grindiest it's ever been. It was so excessive and tedious, it felt like a parody of itself. Unlocking stuff was never fun as the amount of in-game currency you will receive would never be enough for what you would really want. But it was also due to the heavy amounts of microtransactions the game had because of its customization items and especially the big one for why the crypt sucked was for the first time ever the crypt was RNG. You see, I didn't like the crypt in MKX, but I could still unlock the stuff I wanted when I followed the guide. But uh, for the first time ever, I couldn't because of horseshit. 
I want to unlock finishers or I want new costumes, I can't without paying money or grinding so many matches or, to or towers that is excessive. You would go and unlock something and then you'll be like, you'll follow a guide and someone will be like, oh wow, I got the, I don't know, the costume that I want. And they'll be like, oh, I'll unlock the same thing. Nope, can't do that because I got different items. Why? It was also due to how like the customization was so like bloated with the same color scheme and so, so much shit. Anyway, anyway, number four. Number four, customization. I know I don't mean pre-existing customization like Injustice 2 or MK11. Instead, I want real, genuine, make your own characters like Armageddon and Street Fighter 6. I remember in Armageddon, my friends and I were booted up and see what kind of characters we could create. But the only problem was the limited amount of space and with the limited amount of costumes and items that you could equip. But after the explosion that Street Fighter 6 was or is, customization has shown to be an, an amazing experience. I can only and now I can only imagine what a more combat version of it would look like and feel like. I think it with every from everything from looks to intros to outros from moves to the way you could just customize your own character and make it feel like yourself would be so cool. I want to make my own ninja. I want to have him have strings from Scorpion to Sub-Zero to Reptile to Tremor. And if there's characters that you don't want to include because for, for reasons, let the, let the customization character have them. Let me go wild. Let me go full out. The Street Fighter 6 is okay, but it's still sort of limited. And I want more combat to take it and go wild with it. And especially with MKX's combat. Yo, we are talking hype. Let's go. That will be so sick. And I really hope they do that. But for all intents and purposes, I just hope customization comes back. Honestly. Number three, bring back variations or nothing. You see, I love the variations of what they accomplished in Mortal Kombat X as they opened up a lot of different playstyles for a single character. But also for how each variation had fun and unique combos and strings. But at the same time, I also get why people don't like them as a limited the way someone might want to use their favorite character. But at least every variation in Mortal Kombat X was viable, whereas in Mortal Kombat 11, Netherrealm tried to overhaul the variation system with custom variations by allowing you to create your own. But it failed as you couldn't use them in ranked or tournament settings, questioning why custom variations were a thing in the first place. But also, the base variations for those characters felt limited compared to Mortal Kombat X's base variations as this is mainly because of how balance was played into MK11 setting, where the characters were the most limited through combos and strings. And for myself, I really hated that and almost everyone I played and watched felt the same. And I just never felt really unique with any of the variations you could add. And with MK12, if they're gonna bring back variations, be like MKX, otherwise be like MK9, where there was no variations. Because everyone had everything, letting them be the most true to themselves as they can be while letting them have everything. And especially what would get me hyped is if they kept the same pace as X, with no nine with no with nine variations, and and then you have like if we had nine if we had okay, if we had nine with no variations and X is pace, oh, we will be, we will be, we will be crazy. We will be losing the mind. I will lose my mind. I say we as in someone else's hair, but it's just me. It's just me. I would love that. <laughs> I would really love that. I'll be so sick. Number two, conquest mode. Bring this back, baby. I shouldn't even need to explain why this mode was loved. This is the pinnacle to any Mortal Kombat story, not because of the story itself, which was amazing, but because of the way it was told. For the first time ever, you got to explore the realms at your leisure, and you got to see all the different realms that are part of the MK universe, and doing so gave the universe of Mortal Kombat way more depth than before. Honestly, the most fun was the feeling of discovery, finding hidden chests and luckable rewards, different types of easter eggs and characters who are residing in their own realms, willing you to teach their ways. Does this sound familiar? It's Tree Fire 6, baby. It is just doing the same thing and it's, do it's, doing, it's doing amazing. 
doing different side quests that are all over the place and I would love and I would love for MK12 to bring this back as no matter the amount of cutscenes and as later games will have none of them will be as close to how wonderful Deception was Conquest mode will be so sick imagine bro oh, it will be so sick I will love it anyway and number one the final thing I want Bring back co-op or tag team. I never heard of a more requested feature to be brought back in co-op. No matter who I'm speaking to, whenever more combat is brought up, co-op is one of the main topics that is always remiss. And I feel like Netherrealm knows this but refuses to add it back and never and I never understood why. The tag team co-op in World Combat 9 was spectacular for a lot of different reasons. For me, it was because it was for the first time ever, you got to create your very own dream tag team duo in the Morkama universe. But at the same time, Morkama is all about tag teams. Scorpion Sub-Zero, Liu Kang Kung Lao, Cyrax and Syntrax, a ketchup mustard basically. But also the tag team was so much fun as again for the first time in Morkama history, you got to play with a buddy but not just fight against them, but work alongside them with the towers. And if you wanted to, if you had four friends, all of you could get together and have four different controllers and, and bash each other up in, in like tag team mode. And seeing that camaraderie, seeing that like shouting, the sheer spirit of everyone shouting, like uh, being happy, it was crazy. I loved it. Winning or losing, the, the chaos that ensured it was, it was fantastic. But also, more Combat 9 with this tag team brought about one of the coolest, like co-op systems or tag system in Mortal Kombat as you could do some cool really cool combos and strings that never really came back and MK11 tried doing the same thing but it was very limited with his towers and I never understood why that was the case and it was, that was my most fun I had with MK11 whenever I would do uh, the towers whenever I would see one of those co-op towers I would instantly do them because they were the most fun Sending out a partner that you could just, uh, I don't know, help help out as you needed to because they, they would just do a special move and they will be into the stage. It was so sick and I never understood why More Command 11 never really just like full thrusted itself bringing that in. And I would hope and I kept hoping, I kept hoping that hey, one day More Combat 11 will do it. More Combat 11 will bring in that co-op mode and it never did and I don't understand why. If you had the system in place, sort of, then why didn't you fully develop it? So for MK12, I really hope they look into that and say, hey, let's make that mode our mode. <laughs> like, that sounds so cool. Come on, bring it back. We've been through two, three different games. Let's see, we, ha we didn't have an Injustice 1, fine. We didn't have an MKX, okay, fine. We didn't have an MK11, weird, but okay. Am I the only one that's insane? <sighs> yeah, well. Anyway, my original recording for this got lost. <laughs> I have to redo this. <laughs> Anyways, that is it for me. I haven't even seen the trailer yet. I know it's out. I know it's called More Combat 1. I think uh, that is, I was going to say, I still think, I still think that is the stupidest name they could have possibly gone with. Doesn't make any sense, but okay. I know that is a sequel to MK11, because I saw Fire God Liu Kang, and it doesn't make any sense. It hasn't, and it doesn't make any sense. I really hope the trailer doesn't really reveal all the stuff I want, but if it does, let's go, Mick Gordon. I really hope you're in the game. <laughs> I really hope you do the music. Um, but yeah, I also realized I look like a ghoul because of the lighting. And is there anything that you want from MK12? If so, what is it? Please write down in the comments. And uh, and that's it for me. Please like, subscribe, and share, baby. <laughs>